Morning, everyone. Um, yeah, um, my name is Anos Porca. I'm from Warhorse Studios, and I am responsible for linking the game with the music. Basically, I'm the technical musician on the team. Um, I'm also from the Czech Technical University, from the Department of Computer Graphics and Interaction, and uh, that's uh, also another thing that I do. I I'm interested in all sorts of interactive audio and interactive uh, music things, and uh, well, by far, Warhorse is currently my my biggest project that I'm involved with. Um, and I represent here our music team, which uh, composes of two people. Uh, the main person on in, at, at Warhorse regarding music is on the right side of this picture. His name is Jan Valta. And he is the main composer of the, um, of the game. So he writes all the music, most of the music. Um, and he sets the genre of the whole thing. And uh, it will be his score, which will be recorded next spring in Rudolfino. Um, so basically what we do is, uh, what this talk is going to be about is that when you have a world like this, and what you, what, do you, what you need to do in order to get ready for a recording session in, uh, in, in, uh, in, in a Rudolfino Hall. Um, anyway, so um, the purpose of music, why, why music in, in a computer game? You, you, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good thing to have, right? So it's a, it's, it's a tradition, it's a, part of, it's a part of the genre, it's a part of, of, the, of the culture of, of the video games. Um, it's... Uh, it declares the genre. It tells. It uh, it helps determine. It helps to support. Um, yeah, the declare the the genre which which the which the game has. Um, from the music, you can you can tell yes, this is this is the Navy retro, or yes, this is 1870s North America, or these kinds of things. Um, these things it always should somehow complement the visual quality of the of the of, the, of your game, of course. So if you have. Uh, if you have things, uh, if you have pixel art game, you probably want to use chiptune and these kinds of things, right? Because otherwise, uh, to, to put, let's say, orchestral score for uh, a pixel art game, that would be like, it would sound like, like an overkill, but to put uh, chiptune under Kingdom Come Deliverance wouldn't work, right? Um, it also, it is able to present the emotion, and that, that, that's, that's quite important. So it, it is able to, to um, present the quality of the emotion, whether it's like happy or joyful or depressing. And it can, it can do that from the perspective of the actor or the player, or from the perspective of the world, whether the world around the player is sad or happy or whatever, or wh whether the actor, the, pl the player is supposed to, to, to feel, the, the character, is supposed to feel uh, sad or happy or these kinds of things, right? Because when you, um, you can do nice uh, contradictions there, for example, you can, you, you can, you can emphasize that the, that the actor or the player is really, uh, the, the character, I mean, is really, uh, let's say, sad or uh, that, that they are going through some tragic events because all the things around them are joyful and happy and only but but the music is still is still sad, which means all right. So now something happened to the to, uh, to the uh, player character, and, and that's the reason why 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 the music is sad. Um, another reason why music is, is important is that it, it suppresses the ratio. It suppresses the the, the you know the, uh, the, the the let's say critical thinking, the the, the thinking, um, let's say analytical thinking. So people are less anal uh, analytic when when they hear music. That's that's a trick that 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 someone from 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 the theater uh, told me that that's this that that this really works, um, so they uh, so people can can perceive things more on the emotional level. Um, it is able to set the expectations, so it's able to tell the difficulty of the game. Just by hearing uh, the music, you can you, you can you, you can tell this is going to be an easygoing game, or this is going to be an intense thing. Um, and that's like an absolute thing, because you can, you know, uh, people have some experience, so so uh, by their previous experience, they can they can tell that 
that this is probably going to be an, a difficult game because the, 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 the music sounds intense. Um, and also you can, you can pace, you, you can uh, display how the, um, let's say, the game difficulty develops over time by gradually increasing the complexity of the music or by, by gradually making the music more, more dense, let's say, less thin, you know, more, more, more complex, let's say, more, more dissonances and these kinds of things, right? More, more complicated uh, rhythm, um, uh, diminished chords, all these kinds of things. Um, what is directly relevant to uh, the, the topic of my, of my talk is that the game is able to sonify the game status. Sorry, the music is able to sonify the game status. What, what, what I mean by that? Sonification is that when you have some sort of data and you translate the data into some sounds, into some audio signal, right? So you observe or monitor certain quantities within the game, wh whether that is uh, let's say health status of the player or uh, you know, uh, success of a mission or uh, let's say success of your fraction, uh, a faction you know, in, 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 a, in a combat, in a battle, these kinds of things. And you can translate that to some pieces of music via some consistent language which you establish by, by defining your genre. So yeah, so sonification of the game status, that's, that's also very important. That, that, that's, that's one of the most important things uh, of, the, of, of, of the music in the game. Um, you have theme music, which is supposed to be the feature, and you can have, and, and you have the underscore, which is the background, right? So the feature is, um, should be recognizable, and, and that's, um, it's, it's something that, that people are supposed to uh, remember, they're supposed to sing afterwards, of, like whistle, you know, uh, th these kinds of things. It is something which, which will uh, announce the, the genre. So, so uh, when you hear a, a theme music or a menu music, like the first thing that, that, that you hear in the game, you, you are supposed to be able to tell what genre there is going to be. Um, it's kind of important that everyone is going to hear this because these, this, this is the, this is the, the, the thing which, which is usually picked by, um, let's say, you know, different, uh, it's, uh, well, it's one of the first, it's, it's like the opening thing for the game. Um, then there is the underscore. Underscore is supposed to be the background music. So it's something which is setting the mood, but it does not distract. It's kind of important that you have music which does not distract within, within the game, like during the gameplay, because people, Players might be or are supposed to be, right? They're supposed to be engaged with the, the, the game, so they're supposed to be um, dealing with all sorts of different things. Um, and it's uh, also an important thing that this music is going to be there for some time, right? So it, it needs to be a music which, which can loop somehow or which can be heard all, all, you know, over and over, and, it, and people won't go crazy <laughs> from that. Right? Because if you overuse the, the, the themes, if, if, you, if you overuse the, the, the you know, features, um, people, start, people might start being tired by the music eventually. Right? Um, this is important for any sort of interactive audio uh, that you might do. For example, once I did this uh, uh, loop for this, this soundscape for, for, for one exhibition, and because someone told me, okay, right, so the, um, the, the the, the, uh, the average time that the people are going to spend there are going to be 10 minutes and uh, there are let's say three environments there like three three rooms so I was like okay so that means that's like three minutes one loop you can you can hear the loop like twice without going crazy so let's just do this um, and it and it works and, and it worked for the for the people for, for the for for the visitors of the exhibition but I sort of forgot that there are also you know people who are attending the, the exhibition people who are there and like making sure that no one is stealing stuff and these guys were listening to the thing like eight hours a day you know and that's uh, something I only after realized that that was the case um, anyway it is also it's also important to have silence in your music silence is a really important part of the soundtrack and it can be used to emphasize music right if you if you want to 
if you want to stress that you have a music in your game, stop, stop playing it and then just start playing your music again. Um, it's kind of important that it's, it's kind of an important thing that even if, if, the, if the music is silent, there are some sounds in the, in the game during that time. If the sounds are not turned off completely, what, why is that needed? Um, if there are no sounds whatsoever in your, in your game, people might think that something is, is wrong because they, you know, they, 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 they remember that there were, there were some sounds and there, that there was some audio yesterday when they, when they played the, 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 the thing the last time. So they might be like, well, maybe something is wrong with my, with my speakers. So they would like turn up the volume, right? And all of a sudden, boom, the music comes back and all the sound comes back, right? And it's 2.30 a.m., uh, you know, it's like in the middle of the night. And all of a sudden, your audio system in your living room goes boom, right? And everyone is awake suddenly. You don't want that. So uh, you need some indication. You, you need to, to, to give some indication that even though there is silence and music is not playing, there, are, there is audio in your game. Um, right, so uh, what can be told about the music design? Music design is, is, a, is a series of of actions which uh, lead from we need music to what sort of music we, we, we're going to have. Um, so you need to define the genre, you need to tell what, what is the purpose of the music, whether, whether the music is supposed to anticipate things during the game or uh, respond to the, to, to the events of the game. So uh, in, in the film music, in the, in, the, in the film score, these things are very often uh, combined uh, or uh, altered, um, I mean, that sometimes the music is like anticipating what is going to happen next within the you know within the next next minute or or, or a couple minutes. Um, the same thing can be done in, in, in the computer game if you if, if if you wish to give some hints to your play to, to the player that something is going to happen. You, you, you do this. It's also important to 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 define the music space, right? So uh, you have a, some context of the game, some context of the game, and, and you, you need to define them. You need to identify them and then you provide music which is uh, relevant to these things. So you need to name these things, you, you, you know, it's kind of important to, to, to know how, how long each of these phases will, will take so that you have enough material. It's kind of important to know how often these things are going to happen, which means how much, how much of a material you need to develop for, for, for every single uh, context because um, if things repeat, People get tired by them, so you, you need to have multiple, multiple resources, multiple, multiple assets for that. Um, also, it's and for for an ad, uh, adaptive music, it's important to have variables to know the variables which may characterize the state of the game. So, what's the health uh, health status of the, of the you know whether it's a it's the it's the health status of the of the player, uh, whether it's uh, uh, an imminent loss uh, threat or uh, the, the, the victories is being expected or I don't know. Uh, we're hungry, or all these kinds of things, the weather, what was the situation of the weather, so the music space, right? And then you covered the music space somehow. Um, who of you guys know Vltava, Moldau, by Batsik Smetana? Right, so uh, Vltava is a really nice example of so-called program music. So, uh, you have you have a world you have a you have a you know a, an entity a living entity and you're describing it with music right so uh, think think of it as a as a level right so and you know a level where the where the uh, progression is defined is known in advance right so uh, it starts with the cold and the warm stream uh, uh, getting mixed together uh, they turn into a single stream um, then the, the river passes through, through some forests and through some meadows. Then there is a wedding at some point, right? Then uh, we encounter some, some mermaids there. Then we encounter Vishehrat. And then the, uh, the river goes on, right? <laughs> right, so uh, that's pretty much how, how a static soundtrack looks like. Right. If you have, if you have, um, a, let's say, static uh, progression, static playthrough, 
of a level, you can do this. You can do just just this. You just you just compose music for it, and it's gonna work. And you don't need to do anything you know anything else. You 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 you, you pretty much provide film score uh, for that level, and it's gonna work, and it's gonna be great. Um, if um, yeah, so that is that is what what we can call the static soundtrack. So it's it's pretty fine. It's it's not changing. There are loops. Um, there might be loops, and those are assigned to specific screens or events. So my my favorite examples are uh, you know Bangon from 1984 and Atari 800 XL. That's my favorite platform, <laughs> um, which would have like one music loop, and that's it pretty much. Um, this is the, 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 the generic model of a, of a game loop, uh, of, a, of a static soundtrack. So you have some menu music, you have some, some level music, which might be different for each level. There is some advancement, uh, stinger, then there is a, some, some winning music, and then some game over music if that happens, and then you go back to, to, to the menu. Um, my fa my, another favorite example uh, is, is Nimble Quest, which, you know, just, just look it up and, and play it, and, 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 and you'll see how um, nice things in terms of the music design can be done within the, the, the static soundtrack. So uh, the way how you advance from, from the, the very basic level to, 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 to more, uh, more advanced levels, which are more and more difficult, you can really hear that in the music. The first level is like easy going and the, more, the, the, the further you, you go through the game, the, the more complex things happen. Um, you can have adaptive music. Adaptive music or dynamic music, there is no, no, no single term describing this thing. Um, it has more complex control. It does more complex control of the music's playback. It's pretty much a, like, some, some, some sort of a smart playlist or um, playlist which has been prepared, but it's not really clear how, how things are gonna, how, how, how things are, are going to play. Um, and the, the engine is aware of the state of the game. But then that, 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 could be, that could be modeled by this, right? This is also some sort of adaptive, adaptive music. No, the difference is that here, whatever is, is ready is like, it's, it's, it's prepared for the fact that the, the way how things are gonna be played are not going to be linear. So there is a non-linear uh, playback of your tracks which are uh, done before, you know, like uh, produced in advance. Um, and again, there are tons and tons of, of possible designs that you can do. For you know, for a racing game, uh, you don't you, you you cannot be quite sure how long it, it it would take you to go from start and to finish. You only know that 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 you're gonna go through fields, through some forest, and through some city, for example. So uh, you might have some loops here, some loops here, some loops here, and then have some transitions which would which would go from one scene to another. To announce that you have advanced in that in that level to do some to do some other part, or your uh, gameplay might be based on uh, you know that I, it's a it's a player versus player and 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 and, and you guys would be stealing each other's uh, territory, and so you can you can be uh, either on on yours on on your territory or on the opponent's territory, and then also you you, you could have you could be winning or losing, and these things are pretty much like two variables that you can use, right? So you could have like, like four, four segments there. And for each segment, you would have a different music, and then you would just do some transitions between these things. Um, or you have one-on-one -on -one combat, you know, like, a, you know, um, and um, your variables here could be, could be the, the, the health of, yours and the health of your opponent. And this is how, how it might look like. So um, here, at both of us are 100%. Here, bo both of us are dead, right? And when we go from, uh, well, we would start here, we just, you know, we would have just, uh, just started, so the music might be like relatively like, uh, calm or probably fast paced because it is a combat game, right? But it, it could be still, still, still calm. And then, um, when we, when if you are losing the health and the, and your opponent uh, your opponent is doing better than you, then some losing game, uh, some some losing music would, would sound. If uh, you have more life than your opponent, then, then the winning music would uh, would sound. Then there is some some tie re region of the music, right? So basically, no one is winning, no one is losing. Here, probably you would encounter some sort of a tension, right? This is like this is the, the most intensive part of of of, uh, of of the game soundtrack here, probably because uh, any 
any blow can finish the match, and it's not clear who's gonna who's gonna be do that, uh, who's who's going to be that that guy. Because here it's kind of clear that 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 you're gonna lose, and here it's kind of clear that you're gonna win, right? So no no surprises here. But this here there needs to be some kind of anticipation that there there might be a surprise in the end. Or um, another thing, you have a dialogue in your game, right? So. Uh, you go from the idol or some exploration music or some you know like ge generic music, uh, neutral neutral emotion, uh, into something happy because you have just learned that that's something something really really cool has ha has happened that you have finished a quest or that you have received a, a mission item whatever, um, and then you can go back to, to the idol idol music, or something tragic happened right you, you have learned that that some that someone has 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 has, has uh, you know uh, that uh, uh, some 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 tragedy happened to some. Some character within the game, and it's uh, and it's there. Kind of a trick. Um, it's kind of an important thing not to go from the tragic right away back to the happy music, right? You, that there needs to be some sort of a chill out period if if, if that happens because it wouldn't it wouldn't sound right. Um, it's really easy to go from happy to to tragic. It doesn't sound right to go from tragic to to happy right right away, right? It would be like disrespectful, you know, it, it, it would feel like that, you know, it, it, it would, you would sort of undermine the, the severity of the situation by just switching to some happy music. Anyway, so what we have in Kingdom Come Deliverance, um, we, our aim is to provide or to uh, compose a film-like score, right? Um, that's, that's what our aim is. Um, we, we're going to have live orchestral recordings and some of some of uh, and part of, of, of the music is going to be produced from samples, but we use realistic orchestration there. So uh, we so, what what you're going to hear in a bit has been produced from the samples. That is a synthesized music, but it's it's been scored realistically, which means um, we could we could take those parts and give them to the to the musicians, and they would and they, and they would play it back, and it would sound the the, the same thing, right? Um, actually, we are going to do that at some point, right? For for a good part of the of uh, of our music. So, Kingdom Come Deliverance, 1400s uh, dungeons, no dragons. Uh, it's an open world sandbox RPG. And what is typical for sandbox RPGs is that you have multiple contexts, right? So, all these things that I have, you know, mentioned here, they're all there, right? Um, and you explore the land, you, you know, landscape, you have combats, you have ba battles, you have dialogues, you have mini-games, all sorts of things. You, you commit crimes, you, I don't know, you, you get, get uh, into combat, you, you get endangered, you're, you're, you're in stealth, all these kinds of things. And it's important to note that the, the order of these contexts is not known in advance. We, we have no idea what's going to happen next. So we have to be ready for everything. Um, so we have to be ready for for, for the forests. We have to be ready for for let's say approaching villages, for the villages themselves, right? Uh, for some combat situations, all these kinds of things. Um, so first, we we needed to to design the genre. So uh, Honza uh, has decided that we would use uh, period music for villages and towns, and some sort of a timeless timeless classical music for nature because you, you cannot really tell when this is right this you know the forest like this has you know looked like this for the for the last thousand years uh, and this is different right so uh, the music is, is supposed to support what, what what you see so this is different this is definitely not not the, not the present time this could be the present time right but it's not right so uh, music for these scenes, for 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 the nature, uh, is going to be timeless, like not specifically set within within the time. It could be anywhere, anytime. Um, this is going to be period music. This is going to be more, you know, like respecting respecting more more the, the, the let's say music which might have been heard there. It's kind of an important thing to note also that at 1400s, like early 1400s, uh, we don't have much of a clue how the music sounded back then out outside the you know churches of course there are some lyrics there are some some tunes like that that, that there are some recording uh, not recordings and like records in the in some books right but 
we don't really have notation of these things, right? So we only can estimate how things might have sounded back then. Um, all right, so uh, we have two parts of the soundtrack. One is exploration and the other is action. So the exploration is location-based. It, it could respond to the weather, it, it responds to the recent crime. And then there is action music, which responds to, to the stealth, the combat, to the, you know, which uh, is assigned to the chase situation, that you're chasing someone or someone is chasing you. Exploration is going to be more of an ambience uh, of sound, uh, ambient music, slow-paced. Uh, it's uh, respecting the landscape. It, 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 it's res it, it respects the, the, the state of things. It describes the, 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 the status of, of, of of, of the environment, it's, it's, it's the environment, so it tells you where you are, as opposed to the, to the um, uh, action music, which is fa fast-paced, uh, which is, which, which tells you how you're doing at that point, and what is happening to you, and, and who you're fighting, right? So this is more like where, and this is more like who. Um, and also, we alternate between silence and music, so uh, that is for, for the, uh, you know, for, so combat will always have music, action music will be always, whenever there is action, there will be music. Um, villages will alternate between music and silence, sometimes you will have music, sometimes you will have silence. Uh, forests will be mostly without music, because uh, we have our uh, sound designer, uh, Wojciech Nerviet, he's a really good, you know, he, he's, he's a great Foley artist. So he, so all the, by, by the way, all the sounds that, that you're going to hear in the game are in-house. So uh, they, they, they have been made by us. Um, and uh, so he's a really great sound designer. And uh, his uh, forests are just great. Like his, 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 his soundscape, are, uh, the soundscapes are, are just great. So, so we want to honor that. So for uh, places where there is no need to have music, we're not going to have any. Um, <clears throat> We also are careful about the usage of, of, of the themes uh, at some point, you know. Um, we are careful about not repeating stuff over and over, so, so uh, every single piece of music I know how often the, the, the thing has been played back and uh, I play whatever is suitable for the, for the purpose but what have been played the least time. That's the, that's, that's the goal. And also we have timeouts and and, and priorities. So, for example, you enter a location which would have some, some let's say, uh, topical music, like some, some, some theme music, and you will hear it only once because it's like a reward for you. When, you. when you come back, you won't hear it again until some time out expires. And then you may hear it again when, when you enter the location. This way, we, we want to prevent that uh, things which are supposed to sound special are not sounding special. So they need to sound special, right? Because they are special. Um, things like, you know, then uh, considerations such as uh, whether combat is always more important than exploration. It might not be, right, at some point. And uh, if, if, uh, if, if it is like the, the fifth, uh, fifth combat in a row, it pretty much turns in, in, into a routine. So we, we might decide not to use combat music at all. So it's, it's probably better to, to, be, to be silent at that point. Um, whether uh, the music should always follow the player's activity. If uh, we're going to have rigid rules, we would, we would be consistent and we, we would establish a consistent music language there. But if it would sound maybe too descriptive, it would be like way too predictable. So you would know exactly what, what music you, you're, you're, you're going to hear because something happened and you can just prime yourself for it. So there, there's not, not, not going to be any sort of, a, sort of a surprise or whether there are going to be loose responses. So, so uh, we will take everything into consideration and then our engine is going to decide somehow. Um, also, some, some, some pieces of music are not really suitable at some point that the you know, place can have a karma. So something bad happened there and all, of, and all the tracks which sound anyhow positive, they have to be banned for that, per uh, for that period. Right? Because it, it, would just, it just wouldn't sound right. Uh, there might be, a, let's say, plague at some point, some, some, somewhere, or then there might be a, a hunger, or there might be all, all these kinds of you know, dreadful things which were happening uh, back in 1400s. And uh, when such a thing happens, you have to respect that. You have to just, you know, you have to um, be careful what you do. Um, right, so there are many uh, techniques of adaptive music. We can speak about resequencing, where you have small pieces of music and you, just, and, and you link them together one after another. 
you have reorchestration, where you have multiple tracks of the music and you stack them one on, on, on another. So, and then by the combination of these, of these uh, tracks, you are um, altering stuff. Um, you can modulate things. You can, you can, you can uh, change, change the pace of the music, for example. Uh, Nintendo is, is doing this with, with the tempo, so, so the Mario games are very often changing, changing the, 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 the tempo by, by the actions of, of, the, of the character. Or you can generate the music. You can you can have some 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 generative art there. You can have some you know some some grammars, some 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 uh, Markov chains, these kinds of things, right? Which can generate the music on, on, online. Um, we our genre is the symphonic music, so that's that is our decision. That's something that that, that we came up with, and uh, actually uh, Dan Vavra wanted that we would have you know orchestral symphonic the the, the nice big music, right? And, um, and we're happy for his decision, so we do that. Um, right, so we have continuous harmonic progressions, right? So there are some voices which, which are going from, from place to place. Uh, harmonies which need to flow, and you just cannot disrupt them. Um, so you cannot really do crossfade. Why not, right? Why, why, why cannot we do a crossfade? Well, crossfade is basically one track, and then another track, and one and the volume of one goes down and volume of the other goes up. Um, the orchestra doesn't do this, right? In order for an orchestra to play a part, let's say a, another part of the music, they need to stop playing the, 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 the first part first. I know it sounds trivial, but the consequence is that if you do a crossfade, you're pretty much simulating two orchestras being there and one gradually stopping playing, and then the other is like, it's like starting to play. I haven't seen such setup yet, right? So you have one orchestra. It's already a lot of people, so you don't need more, right? Um, so they need, they need to do some transitions. So, uh, and, and then another thing, you cannot really alter the volume because when the, 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 the real instruments are, are changing the volume of the sound, they're doing some dynamics. The difference between, let's say, piano and forte sounds are not just the volume, not just the amount of energy which is transmitted from, from, the, from the generator of the, of, the, of, the, of the sound signal, but also it is the quality of the sound which, which uh, tells you that this is actually piano. It's the, it's the things such as uh, uh, what sort of melodies are there, the tempo is there, the expression is there. So everything is connected. So you just cannot alter the, the volume and hope for the best. That's just not happening. So, uh, uh, unlike electronica, you know, there are beautiful soundtracks where you can do that, right? So any, any let's say, modern uh, game, science, you know, science fiction game, which would have electronica soundtrack, it would work there. Of course, techno is, is based on, on, on crossfades, right? You have one track, you have another track, you, you, you synchronize them so that the, the beats align, and you do, tr and you do, and you do the, the, the crossfade. And it's beautiful, it's perfect, I like it, right? It's just a different genre, we can do that. So uh, we chose to use resequencing. Resequencing might look like this: that you have uh, some, some, uh, you know, some scenes, some parts, some snippets, and you go, and then you have some, uh, some loops and some transitions, and these transitions can be somehow uh, characterized by, uh, by some conditions, all these kinds of things, and then you have some spe specific transition scenes, uh, and then transition scene back, and all these kinds of things, and then you go crazy because this would be like way too complex. So uh, <clears throat> basically, to go from the, the goal is to go from any track to any other track within a certain amount of time, right? So if you don't do a trick, you would easily, you know, it's like n, n squared, right? It's n squared times the, the 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 number of transitions per per uh, uh, let's say per per minute somehow. So uh, that's 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 the complexity of, of this problem. So we don't do that. We would go crazy. Um, so we have defined. Some, you know, our seamless transitions, which we use in the exploration music, um, they do something else, they do something different. So uh, the, the requirements are that we want to be able to, to, to go from one scene to another scene within 15 seconds, right? For the exploration music, so that, that doesn't really matter if, if, you, if you go from, from village to the forest, and it doesn't really matter when exactly that transition is gonna happen, right? Because there is some sort of a, you know, it's not really clear when, when the village stops and when the forest starts, right? It's, it's, it's the open world and, and, it's, and, 
you don't see that in, 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 the, in the nature. Yeah, there, there, are, there are no lines in, in the nature, like drawn, you know, that this is, this is forest and this is not forest. Um, um, the way how we do that, we, we have railroad switches uh, and teleports <laughs> there, right? So just think of, a, th think of the music as, 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 as a track. And where you are is a, is a train being on that track. And if you need to play something else, you just use a switch and, and go to, to, you know, to do another track. And how you do that is actually like this. So this is what is what is inside. So this is, if nothing happens, if, if, the, if, this, if the music starts, it starts here. If the music ends, it starts here. So there used to be silence, but, you know, there was silence before then, and there will be silence after here. But if you need to make the transition, you, let's say here, right? Let's say here, it, it turned, you know, the music plays, and here it comes, it comes clear that the transition needs to be made. And so, you, you, to, you, you take the first available switch here, and you enter, and you end up in, in a music configuration, which we call Aleph. So this is, and we have three types of Aleph step. And, um, eh, that's the cursor, right? And the way you proceed is that you directly link this, this, uh, the, the end of, of this branch to an intro, which would have the same, same Aleph. So you, you, you teleport your train from one track to another, from one scene to another, like this. It's really important that, that we have, that, that there are some, 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 some compatible, that, that these things are compatible, because we cannot really link anything to anything. But the way how our soundtrack is composed, that all these branches end in one of these three configurations. And this is how we beat the, the, the complexity of, 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 of the problem. Uh, we, could have, we could have more. We could have chosen more. We, we didn't. We, we chose three. It works in our experience. Demo. Um, right. So I will show you how it sounds al already, right? Um, so um, this is... Right. Um, this is the engine that I wrote. And it shows a couple, couple tracks here. So this is, uh, this is the main menu. And I'm just going to set... I'm just going to switch the menu off. And this is the only soundtrack that uh, this is the the only fade out that we have. And now there is a scene which is which is playing, right? So this is uh, this is very likely that you will hear this when you when you start our our alpha, uh, which is which has been released a couple of weeks ago. Um, so a track plays, right? So the, and, and you're walking around around the um, you are wa wa walking around your um, your, uh, your, your, your world. And let's say that you enter a camp, right? Uh, oh god. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let me just do something else. This this is going to work. Uh, yeah, I just needed to you know because I, I, I wanted to, to to show something which would be less less well, more, more, less complex than this because this is the, the, the whole alpha soundtrack but but the, but the projection is not really the good on this thing. So start start again. So we're uh, playing a, a, a track and then we enter Samopesh, one of our villages there, right? So this track will no longer be suitable. So a branch is taken here, and one of the tracks which has been up, this one, this one continues. Right? So this is how we how we made made the transition from 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 one one place to another, from from one track to another. Let me just go back to the world. Let me just leave the leave the village there. Eventually, you would you would explore all these all, all these things there. You would, you would find out that they that there is a way how to tell, but you really need to focus on, on the thing. Let's let's go to uh, 
let's go to Merliad. Right. And now, let's see that we committed a crime, and something is going to, and someone is going to tell us all. So, I have just committed the crime, and I'm going to pay a fine for it. So uh, I'm picking a lock, for example, someone encounters me, someone, you know, finds, finds out that I'm picking a lock, right? And there's going to be, a, someone comes and tells me, hey, you just stop doing this, right? Or, I, or, I, or I'll just bust you. And, um, yeah, and then it just gets resolved. And, um, uh, yeah, so, and then, of course, because we, we did something, something not, not entirely right, we have to be sort of like punished for that, so we're not gonna hear the music for a while, so there needs to be some kind of a chill out, so there's going to be silence for a while, right? And then we get to go back to the exploration at some point. So uh, this is what we have for the, uh, for, uh, the uh, exploration. Also we have action. I promised you that we have also, also some action music, and for that the, the transitions to the action music are, uh, are somewhat different. You can't really see it. I will post some. I will post uh, a screenshot on my Twitter probably, or our Twitter, because uh, you would see a small dots there, and each of those dots is is one is one bar. So I know exactly when each of the bars is coming up, and I can synchronize the action music on those bars, right? So I'm just gonna I'm, ju I'm just gonna start a combat at this point. Eh? Okay, never mind. I'll just start, start it again. Uh, sorry. Uh, right. So menu off, exploration, and now for the for the combat. Right. So this is this is the combat music. This is the this is the the, the warm up phase of the music. So we have. Uh, you're you're facing your opponent, and your opponent is is uh, facing you, of course. Um, it's logical. And then um, no one has done anything to the other person yet. It's just a threat, right? Nothing nothing has started. Then eventually, someone is going to start. Someone is, is going to you know to, to deliver the, 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 the first blow. And we have four levels of combat, like four four levels of your success of your of your of your of your status. Um, so this is the even. No one is winning. No one is losing. And I can go to you know I I'm, I'm doing well. So the music needs to change. Then then I'm doing well, right? And then the guy is going to hit me like really bad, right? And now it sounds like more more, more dramatic because I'm, I'm I'm losing blood and I'm and I'm losing. I, I will probably be killed. It's possible that I just will be killed, right? But fortunately, fortunately, I just somehow for, let's see. Remember that I have another sword in my my inventory, I, and I just took, took it out, and I and it's a really powerful sword, right? And I'm winning again, right? So things are things are fine, fine now. But my opponent, he is uh, better than me, you know, and so he summoned a tank. Right, and the tank is gonna kill me somehow. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, something, something bad happens again, and and I'm gonna lose. Right. So this is how how our action music look, you know, looks like and and, 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 and works like. Um, we have we call it transition via sinels. Sinel is uh, this little. Thing which is there, which which is used, that we can actually cut, cut the music any 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 time. It, you know, it's, it's some, it, whenever you request the, the the transition, it just waits for the next bar. It fades out the music. It plays this this, this effect, and uh, well, you know, the sinel we we call it because it's it's a, like a cinematic element, and it's kind of a nice ni nice play on words because in Czech it's actually je to prostě no. <laughs> Right, and um, 
So this is the origin, this is the destination. So there's this fade out, there's this this, this, this signal thing which, which masks over this fade out so that it, it, it sounds right. And then the, the new thing starts. Yeah. Um, and then we have a couple tricks there. So uh, we let the tracks bleed into one another, one into, an, uh, one into another. That's kind of important, right? So just the mere fact that a bar, stand, uh, a bar ended, it's, it's, not, it's not the reason why we need to stop playing the, the, the sounds which have started. So if there is a pattern A and this is the pattern B and then they are aligned and synced, we, we, we leave the, the, the pattern A to play first, to, 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 to finish, right? And there is another thing which, which is important. You have an orchestra, and this is in your score that, that everyone is supposed to do a nice one note. It's not going to happen that all of them is going to start simultaneously. It's just not happening. You cannot get this, right? So this is the, the, the distribution of the, of the starts of, of, the, of, of the tones there. And there is another thing. You have, you have let's say, wind instruments and you know, brass and, and woodwinds. And even though, even though they are supposed to start only here, they, they also are breathing in. They are, there is some sound that, are, that they are emitting. And we don't really understand that as the part of the music, but it's a part of the sound signal, which is being emitted from the, from the orchestra. And it's a part of the experience. We're, we're, we're are, um, uh, used to it, to, 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 to hearing these things. Uh, there is no correct terminology for this. Some uh, people call it the oomph, right? Um, basically, what we do with that, we have all our tracks are actually uh, displaced by 200 milliseconds. So they start 200 milliseconds later than they're supposed to, so that we have a way how to, how to address both of these things. And uh, so, yeah, so, so those are our tricks and further tricks that we do. So. Uh, we do traditional scoring. We have creative freedom, which is great, right? Which is just perfect. So, so as long as 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 as, as our music design fits fits uh, fits the overall scope of the game, and uh, Don Barra likes it, we we can do whatever we want. That's really important. Uh, and for 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 now, he likes our music, so that's good. <laughs> and. Um, we have, you know, both of us, like both musicians, we, are, we, ha we, we, we were involved early in the game development. It's kind of important because um, very often, let's say, at least in the, in, the, in, in the movie industry, you would have music to be composed the last thing. You know, the, the music is, is, is the last thing the, that is done. It's like right before the, 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 the premiere, sort of. We are involved very, very early in the game so that we can we can uh, use, we can, uh, I can program my, my, my engine the way that, that I'm, I, I, can, I can, let's see, stick different probes into, in, into the game code. And I need to do that early because we need to then develop the, the, the um, uh, you know, all the, all the resources, all, all, all the assets. So there needs, there needs to be some close link between the develop, developers and musicians in order to do the, the, um, the, the adaptive music soundtrack. And that works because, uh, we, we, we have this. Um, I am a, 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 let's say, programming musician, basically. And then uh, we, we wrote our own adaptive music middleware. There, I know that there, there, there are things like that, but when you have all these things that we have Im implemented here, um, then all these things that you don't really have, the, 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 the tempo which is changing all the times, and these kinds of things, it was just, just the easiest to, to, to write our own uh, adaptive music middleware. Oh yeah, so uh, that has been my that has been my talk and I'll be happy to take any questions now if uh, there are any. <laughs>